Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is June 21st, 2019. Welcome to summer. The door of summer is near. We are at the door of summer. And as I'm watching the countdown to the 9th of Av, I find it very interesting that there are 50 days remaining from today, June 21st, the first day of summer, the 50th day of summer. Wow. The 50th day of summer is the 9th of Av. Isn't this amazing? I find that uh, detail in this year uh, quite amazing that August 10th and 11th is 50 days from June 21st. My thought on this is just as the Holy Spirit came on Pentecost at the first coming of Jesus Christ, now that the Antichrist is about to appear and the day of the Antichrist is the solstice, the worship of the sun, then we have 50 days to God's day of judgment which is the ninth of Av. That is an amazing detail to me, and I just wanted to share that with you. So as we are counting down to the ninth of Av, August 10th and 11th, 2019, we have 50 days remaining from today. Okay, everybody be ready. The summer solstice, today, June 21st, in 10 days... There is a total solar eclipse over Argentina and over the Easter Islands in the South Pacific, July 2nd. And from July 2nd, there are 40 days to August 10th and 11th. Remember, I shared with you that August 10th was the day in history that Nineveh was destroyed, we have a 40-day warning by a total solar eclipse to the day destruction came to the city of Nineveh. So we have definite markers here, the summer solstice, the day of the Antichrist, the worship of the sun, as is depicted in, in the, the, the logo of Barack Obama, 10 days to the total solar eclipse, another sun marker. We've got the, the day of the sun, the solstice, 10 days to a total solar eclipse, another marker in the sun, and 40 days to Tisha B'Av, which is God's day of judgment throughout history, Remember, my sign in December of 2012 came in the sun. God gave me a sign in the sun. On December 12th, 2012, a sign in the sun. Wow. My life changed on December 12th, 2012. And I have been preaching about the return of Christ since then, sharing every sign I could possibly see and share from that time through 2013 and 2014, every year, every turn of events that happened, I was right there talking to you, sharing with you about the all the signs of the possibilities of the return of Jesus Christ. And wow, since 2013, we sure thought it could be the time. Who will deny now the closeness of the return of Jesus Christ and who will deny the fact that whether you believe in the specific day or not who can overlook the power of the ninth of Av as God's day for judgment throughout history wow anybody who looks seriously at the signs of Christ's return 
we'll definitely see the ninth of Av is a sign in itself. There is an incredible message to be, to be prepared for judgment on the ninth of Av. We have talked about all the disasters that have come on the ninth of Av that have befallen the Jewish people every time judgment has come to the Jewish people every major judgment that has come to the Jewish people has come on the ninth of Av who can overlook this rapture date options are running out Pentecost is past. Now we have, uh, May, you know, May 14th was a huge day as far as the end of the 70th year of Israel. We were watching the day of the flood, a huge day. Signs came on that day and, and gave us understanding. If you are watching and putting the pieces together as I am. I, I'm sharing with you the, the signs that the Lord is giving to me. And this is my calling to share the signs of his coming revealed, to be a trumpet for my people. As he called me and told me, you will be a trumpet for my people. And rapture date options are running out. May 14th came and went. The 17th of Iyar, the day of the flood came and went. We had Pentecost that came and went. Now we're at the summer solstice. That is, we're, we're coming by the summer solstice. And now we have, up next is 50 days away. God's appointed day for judgment. The book of Acts says that God has appointed a day on which he will judge the world. And we can see throughout history that the appointed day for God's judgment is, is the ninth of Av. It has always been the ninth of Av. Sending Israel into the desert on the ninth of Av. Destroying the first and the second temples on the ninth of Av. Being kicked out of Spain, the Jews kicked out of Spain in 1492 on the ninth of Av. The Inquisition on the ninth of Av. World War One on the ninth of Av began, and the final solution was brought forth on the ninth of Av. The Holocaust began on the ninth of Av. This is all documented history. God's appointed day for judgment is next. The ninth of Av is August tenth and eleventh, two thousand nineteen. Here's my prediction, those who watch rapture dates. Most people who watch rapture dates will deny the ninth of Av as God's appointed day for judgment. And they will now start talking about trumpets. They're going to skip over completely. Most people are going to skip over completely, not wanting to deal with rapture being on a day of judgment but if we're looking at the day of the wrath then we need to find the day of our escape when will we escape well we'll, we'll escape the judgment so the feast of trumpets is not a day of judgment what we need to understand is that that what we have to find is the day of judgment and it's at the time of the judgment when the wrath comes that we will find our escape. But most people will deny the ninth of Av as God's appointed day for judgment and will now start talking about the Feast of Trumpets. Okay. I just want to remind everybody, please remember... The ninth of Av was the day Israel was supposed to enter the promised land. It was on the ninth of Av that the spies returned after 40 days. 40 days 
in the promised land. They came back, but only two spies had a good report. We can do this. Let's go in. And I, I see them as the prototype of the two witnesses. The two witnesses. Joshua and Caleb. The two witnesses that gave the good report that now is the time. Let's go in. It was the ninth of Av. This was God's appointed day that his people should go into the promised land. But they denied the report of God's true witnesses, Joshua and Caleb, and they, re and they received the report of the false reports of the wicked spies. And instead of going into the promised land, they were banished to the desert for 40 years. So remember, the ninth of Av was the day Israel was supposed to enter the promised land. Don't listen to the false reports. Don't listen to the false reports. Just to confirm to everybody that on the Hebrew calendar, the 9th of Av, Tisha B'Av in 2019 is August 10th and 11th. 40 days from the total solar eclipse on July 2nd. The same day that the spies entered the land 40 days to spy out the land and they were supposed to return with a good report bringing all the fruits back from the, from the promised land yet the people refused to believe that it was time. They did not want to go in. They could not take on the enemy. And they believed the false report. And God said to them in Numbers chapter 14, you will know on this day my rejection. You will know my rejection. Because they were wicked, rebellious, stiff-necked people who did not believe the report of God's true Witnesses, the prototype today of the two witnesses in the end times. Who are you going to believe? The ten wicked spies or the two true witnesses? Are you ready for the return of Jesus Christ? I pray you are blessed today. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.